Will your attorney during your initial interview, either on the phone or in that attorney's office, be able to definitively tell you whether you are the victim of medical malpractice? Stay with me as I share with you this very important information. Hello, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm a medical malpractice attorney practicing law here in the state of Maryland, and I would like to talk with you today quickly about that question. You've just called me or you're sitting in my office and you want to know, will I be able to definitively tell you whether you are the victim of medical malpractice? Well, before I answer that question, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some background. I'm going to explain this process to you. If you've had an opportunity to watch some of our other videos or read some of our educational articles, you know that to be successful in Maryland in a medical malpractice case, you have to be able to prove that your treating doctor fell below the standard of care. And by falling below the standard of care, this is what caused your injury. Now that word standard of care, what am I talking about when I say standard of care? Think of it like this. What would a reasonable and prudent doctor do under the same set of circumstances as your doctor? I'm going to say that again because that's important for you to understand that. What would a reasonable and prudent doctor do under the same set of circumstances as your doctor? Now, to be able to deal with this standard of care issue or to be able to show this in a trial, Maryland law requires that you have to have a medical expert who will go on record and say in his or her opinion that yes, the treating doctor did fall below the standard. The standard was this in this particular case and your treating doctor did not follow with that standard. They deviated from that standard and by deviating from that standard that is what caused your injury. You're going to need an expert to say that. Now think of it like this. If you are in the initial interview with me either on the phone or you're in my office or I'm meeting you at your home, have I had an opportunity yet to have a medical expert to take a look at your records? Have I had an opportunity to have a medical expert to talk to me about the issues present in your case? More than likely, no, none of that has been done. So because that hasn't been done, I really won't be able to give you a good definitive answer as to where we stand with your particular case. Now, why have I taken the time today to explain this to you? Because I'm trying to help you get insight into this process. I'm trying to help you understand that this is a very long process and a serious investigation and a good analysis has to go in these particular types of cases to help you be able to determine whether you may have a medical malpractice case. If you have more questions and concerns about your situation, you may be watching this video right now because you're trying to you know, figure out, are you the victim of medical malpractice? Or you would at least like to talk with someone about your injury that you suffered either at a hospital or in the care of a doctor. This is what I invite you to do if you have these questions. Go ahead and pick up that phone and give me a call. I can be reached at 301-850-4832. And remember, it costs you absolutely nothing to pick up the phone and call me. If you're the email type, if you would prefer to just go ahead and send me an email first, send me an email to medicalinjury at bostonlawllc.com. I answer Maryland medical malpractice questions like yours all the time, and I'll be glad to take some time to listen to your story. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the medical malpractice attorneys here at Boston Law Group, LLC, and we will see you next time. Guys, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.